All right, FAQ number 47. How many donkeys did Jesus ride on? Here's another one that the uh, enemies of the Bible, they'll try to bring this up to try and prove that we can throw out the whole Bible because of one supposed error. But it's not an error. At least if you're using the King James Bible, I can't speak for the other ones that come from the Vatican, like the New American Standard Version, NIV, English Standard Version, all that junk. But let's go here to uh, Matthew chapter 21. We'll see about the disputed passage here. Matthew chapter 21, starting at verse 1. And when, they were, and when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Bethphage unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples, saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied and a colt with her. Loose them, and bring them unto me. And if any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, The Lord hath need of them, and straightway he will send them. All this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek, and sitting upon an ass, and a colt the foal of an ass. And the disciples went and did as Jesus commanded them, and brought the ass and the colt, and put on them their clothes, and they set him thereon. Now, you know, these silly little atheists in their brains, they think to themselves, Well, Jesus must have had to have been very big, uh, because he can spread his legs out over two asses there, the Bible word for donkey, okay? And he can sit there on two of them and straddle them and ride into town like that. You see the kind of warped minds that these people have? Uh, the Bible talks about that uh, God gives them over to a reprobate mind. When they profess themselves to be wise, they became fools, Romans chapter 1. You know, a little crazy. Um, did you ever see people going out doing uh, hunting adventures on horseback? A lot of times they will use donkeys, an ass there. They will use that to go out into the mountains. And what they'll do is they'll have their gear on the pack mule back here. And they'll be riding another one up front. So you can have two of them. And they're tied together. You know? Uh, it's not a problem, okay? That's what was going on there. Jesus Christ was riding on one of them, but they had two of them to carry their clothes, okay? They put their clothes on the one in the front there, set Jesus there on, and the one in the back carried the rest of the clothes, like a pack mule. No big deal, right? That doesn't give you the right to overthrow the whole King James Bible, and I refuse to accept Jesus Christ as my Savior and repent of my sins, you know, as far as... Uh, Coming to the Lord as a sinner, I should say it that way. You know, uh, you know, I refuse to do that. I'm not going to come and, and give up my self-righteous, you know, atheistic pride and foolishness because this passage here looks like Jesus sat on two different, you know, donkeys there. Absolutely absurd. Uh, there were two, and Jesus sat on one, and they put their clothes on the other one. No big deal.